I'd like to talk a little bit more about the multi racks now that accompany the system. We've got three racks that accompany the TurboLap LV, and that's all you're going to need. Now, traditionally on the classic system, you may have had up to 15 racks as accessory items that would uh, really allow you to deal with lots of different tube sizes. So, this is uh, the 24 position rack. We're dealing with vials up to this size. It's 50 mil centrifuge tube. We can deal with ACE, ICAM, EPA vials in the same rack. Now this is made possible by use of these height adjustment handles. And then depending on the length of your vial, we've got a graduated scale on the side of this rack. And you can move this height adjustment bar upwards as so and down to deal with different vial lengths. Now you might be thinking how are we dealing with the different outer diameters of these vials. We've got this spring clip on this rack. So depending on the OD of the vial, outer diameter, it's always ensuring that your vial is towards the right hand side of this rack. Here you can see the spring clip in action, ensuring that this vial is pushed to the right hand side of the rack. That's the 24 position rack. We've got the 48 position rack here. This will take sample tubes from 10 to 20 millimeters outer diameter from 75 millimeters in length up to 150 millimeters in length. So there's a vast amount of flexibility in these racks. And finally, we've got a rack here for much smaller sample vials. This is aimed at the autosampler vial market, uh, maybe small Eppendorf tubes, and um, it's a pretty ingenious design. With the new product, you can convert this version by exchanging the manifold and replacing the rack to a TurboVap 2. So now we're in TurboVap 2 mode, we've got a couple of options. We can work with 200 mil endpoint tubes. Now we've got two endpoints to choose from. We've got a one mil fixed endpoint and a half mil fixed endpoint. Other option, we've got 50 mil tubes, again, with the same endpoints. So what happens during the evaporative process as the solvent level moves down, we've got optical sensors in this rack which detects the solvent level as it approaches these 1 mil and 0.5 mil cutoffs and the system will automatically stop the evaporative process once it reaches these volumes to prevent losses of some of your more volatile analytes. And with this release we bring in the TurboVap EH which streamlines your processing from the Extra Hera platform onto the TurboVap. I've got uh, an Extra Hera collection rack here. So let's assume we've eluted our columns, we've got our sample extracts here, and we need to evaporate these either for solvent exchange or to uh, achieve our LOQs. You're able to take the extra air collection rack and place straight in to the TurboVap EH. So we've now got streamlined processing, no more moving vials from one rack to another, no more possible errors, no more spillages of your sample. Just take the rack, put it straight into the platform.